Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video here is going to be a part of my The Forest Base Guide, all of the locations you, you can or would want to build your base. And in this video I'm going to be talking about the Crocodile Lake location. So we are right here, let me uh, try to show you good on the map without the sun glare. We are right here basically to a little bit east, or a little bit west rather, of Crocodile Lake. And uh... The bandit camp, which is, or rather the cannibal camp, which is known as the crocodile lake camp, is in that direction. As you can see, there's a crocodile right here. Oh. Come say hello to us. And uh, the reason I chose this location is because all around this lake, there are tons of crocodiles, as you can see. This guy just ran up to me, introduced himself, and then uh, got himself killed. And this location is essentially only for farming crocodile meat. Or, uh, lizard skins for your armor. That's basically the only thing that I use this area for. As you can see, I have my drying rack there, a water thing, and, uh, my fire for when I was constructing this stuff over here. I needed stuff, uh, so I could stay out here for a prolonged period of time. First, I built the houseboat, and then I built the house. Uh, as you can see, the houseboat this raft i built just for the purpose of this video i'll probably destroy it after i'm done with the video but uh as you can see this house has is outfitted with a whole bunch of log carriers on top they're just the small ones because i was still ignorant at the time and i didn't know i could make them into something bigger uh it's also got log holders in here which again are the small ones because i was dumb and didn't realize that you could make them bigger and then i also have a bone holder and two armor racks in here and a stick holder outside again small one dumb and uh, the reason for this is the two armor racks in there are for the lizard skins in case I want to hold them in here. Uh, the bones are for all of the cannibals and mutants that attacked me while I was farming here. And basically the log holders are just for transporting logs from land to here. And uh, you can actually just roll with the houseboat and nothing else if that's what you want to do. But I opted to make this house because... Uh, I thought I was going to need it but then realized like I didn't really need it. So, it was kind of a waste making the house, but it was enjoyable. It was fun learning how to carry materials out onto the lake in a decent fashion. And for the most part, all you need for your crocodile lake house is you need some sort of houseboat. And you want, I would say, three or four armor holders. Armor racks, whatever you want to call them, these things. Because you get four lizard skins per crocodile, so it's like uh, two sets of, or two crocodiles per armor holder. So within like an hour of farming, you're going to fill like four or five of them. So it's not, it's not a bad idea, you know, to have quite a few of them out here. As you can see, mine are almost all filled up, which is uh, pretty normal for farming this location. There's usually, I find that there's more crocs that spawn on this side of the river, the uh, west side of the river. Usually there's like three on the east side, and I am lucky if I find one or two on the north side. They can spawn kind of far away from where uh, the coast is. Let me show you where I've seen a crocodile. We'll go back to the coast and I'll show you how far out I have found one before. Maybe we'll find one far out just for uh, proof of concept. So I've found crocodiles basically like chilling out here before. There's a Komodo dragon that we could take out if we wanted his lizard skins. But this is pretty far away from the lake, and the crocodiles would have to go, like, up the incline in order to get out here. Oh, there's one right there. So there. There you go. There's proof of concept. They spawn all the way out here. And, uh, yeah. You'll need a lot of lizard armor in this game for when you first start exploring the caves, because you need the protection, basically. And it's, uh... It's hard to get your hands on creepy armor at the very, very start of the game. And lizard armor is a great, great alternative. A big tip, too, you can combine the lizard armor, or you can combine uh, the lizard skin with uh, leaves to make stealthy armor, which would uh, increase your stealth level as well as your um, armor level while you're wearing it. And as you can see, there's Komodo dragons all over this place, too. So there's, uh, there's quite a bit for you to get here. And there's a mutant slash cannibal patrol that comes by like right here right through this area only one i think so uh you'll be able to get some bones while you're here too while you're building the the houseboat or the house as far as construction goes i personally chose this side of the river 
because uh, it, it was open enough for me to see mutants and cannibals coming. And it was uh, just a random choice. However, the northern side is probably your best choice if you want to farm some logs. Because there's an abundance of trees over there. As you can see, you can just chuck a few dynamite in the forest and then just drop all your logs down to the coastline, throw them on your boat, and you're good to go. But that's basically all there is to it. This is uh, the number one optional location that I recommend you uh, build a base at. It's as important as your battle bunker, which for those of you who are unaware of my uh, of the terminology, essentially battle bunker is uh, where you'll be farming bones for your bone armor, which is also quite useful. But this is a good alternative to bone armor, is basically lizard armor. And you can farm an absolute shit ton here. But that's basically all there is to it. One last piece of advice is I would recommend you put your drying rack inside of your houseboat or uh, yeah. on top of your houseboat or inside of your house on the lake if you decide to build a house on the lake. Although building a house on the lake is a bit unnecessary. So keep that in mind. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will catch you around the next one. Peace.